tough game. We played hard. We just didn't play well enough at times. Give Oregon credit. They made some crucial plays down the stretch to, to win the game. Last time you guys played Oregon, turnovers were an issue. Like you guys had 17 turnovers. Mine was, was 16. What did, what did they do with that press that makes it tough? We didn't turn the ball over against the press, I don't think. Uh, we just made some uncharacteristic, we got stripped a few times, made some just passes that we sh should not have made. Uh, and, and I thought our, our guards were just a little off tonight as far as their decision making and, their, and of course their shooting. So uh, we don't expect our players to play great every game, but to be the top five team in the country, you have to play a little better than we did tonight. We played extremely hard, very proud of our team, our players. We have a, a very good record uh, and we've made most of those plays down the stretch. That's why that we have the record that we do. But tonight we, we just did not make it. The three from Elijah pulls you guys in within three with less than three minutes left in the game, and then Oregon finishes on a 10-2 run. What were really some of the biggest struggles finishing out the game? Well, we couldn't make a shot, that, that was one. Uh, they, they came down, and, and Jordan Bell got the ball, and we were playing good defense, and he made a good post, strong post move, and scored on Chemezi. They put it, put it back to five, uh, and then we came down and missed a shot. And so, uh, when you shoot, Six for 27 from the three-point line, and a lot of those were wide open. Uh, and we missed three dunks. And uh, not, to, not to mention our turnovers, but, but just if you just take our shooting percentages and the three missed dunks, uh, it's hard to beat a team like this if, if you don't play and shoot the ball better than what we did tonight. After Brooks fouled out, Dorsey hit a three right at the end of the shot clock after you were in pretty good position. You had him. Uh, you had a double team in the corner. I mean, how instrumental was that? Well, that was a, that was a mistake on DeAnthony Melton's part uh, because we trapped. They threw the ball through two seconds in the shot clock, and he didn't challenge a shot. He, he probably could have stolen the pass, but he should have definitely been all over him, and he gave him a, an, basically an uncontested three. I don't think DeAnthony really knew how much time was left. I think he just lost track of time, and at that point, he should have been all over him. So. Uh, uh, and then we came down, we hit a three, Stewart hit a three in the corner, cut it back to three, and that's when Bell made his layup or his post move. So, uh, you know, a couple plays like that, that's what, that you have to play a little better against this type of team, uh, and, and you have to make winning plays in the last three, four minutes. And, and if they made the plays tonight, uh, as I said, we've, we've made them most of the time all year long, uh, but tonight we couldn't. Were they even, it seemed like they were tougher to guard when Brooks was out at times because uh, they were, they were, the ball was moving a little better. Well, there's a reason they're 22 and four. Yeah. And there's a reason we're 21 and five. You have two good teams, and you have to have more than one player. Uh, and different players step up for their team as well as ours. And, and when Brooks is out of the game, they have other good players, and they, and they showed that tonight. Coach, how do you feel about the officiating tonight? You know, I, I don't like to comment on the officiating. You know, I, I wasn't sure about that out of bounds call down there on uh, it blocked a shot, but. That wasn't the reason we lost the game. So, do you think all the stoppages of play took away from some of the momentum? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I just know that we didn't quite play well enough, and so I'm not going to blame the officials or, or stoppage of play. We just have to play a little better. When you were up four early in the second half, the building was really rocking. People were standing and cheering, and and there were different times in the game when people were on their feet. What did that feel like to you, or are you even aware of that? Well, the crowd was great tonight. Uh, we had a sellout for the UCLA game, and tonight was close. Just a lot of energy in the building, and, and our players deserve that. Uh, re really happy for our fans. The students are starting to support us now, the local community, and uh, the Pac-12 has excellent basketball. So when you have two teams that are 21 and four competing against each other, uh, that, that's nice to, uh, to have that kind of atmosphere. And, it was a big game on a national scale as well as in the Pac-12. And, and um, I'm very appreciative, we're all appreciative in our program of, of the fan support. Uh, it's been a process, we're building, uh, we're trying to build the program the right way and get good talented players in here that work hard and, and we hope the fans appreciate that. And, and so, But we certainly f appreciate the fan support and it was great tonight. Did uh, the early fouls on May 2 get him out of his rhythm at all or did he ever recover that? That was tough. Uh, the first foul, and then you get the charge. So I'm not sure where 
what he did on the first foul to deserve a foul, but uh, it, it's hard when you're, you're a guy like him gets two quick fouls like that and you have to sit most of the first half. It de definitely hurt our team. You and some of the players have talked about trying to avoid those first half deficits, uh, the lapses early on. There, there would seem like there were two points midway through each half where they were able to go on a run. Do you think that was one of those kind of lapses and how do you how do you kind of try to fix those? Well, I think if we, just, we were just a little off tonight offensively. We, we missed so many open shots. We missed 21 threes. I mean, we were six for 27. You're not going to beat Oregon shooting 22% from the three-point line. And most of those threes were open threes. It, went, it wasn't like we were taking bad contested shots. Uh, so when you start missing open shots, we missed three dunks. Uh, the other team, you know, we, we were up even early in the game. Um, Jordan missed a dunk in transition, and, and they went on a seven-point run. Uh, just seems like that's the key. And we missed two or three open shots, and they come down and score. So uh, I thought we battled all game long. It was a three-point game with three minutes left, and, and Oregon made the key plays on both ends of the floor in the last three three minutes. Andy, is it a silver lining that the team competed for most of the game despite subpar shooting against the Oregon team? Like well, we've been competing all season. That's why we're 20, 21 and five. And we played 18 games without Benny. So that, that means that we've been down numerous games. I think over 10 or 11 games by 9 or 10 points or more and come back to win those games. So this team plays extremely hard. Uh, and, and tonight, we played hard enough to win the game. We just were just a little off uh, in, in certain areas of our game. Uh, and Oregon's a good, very good team. So, so maybe they had a lot to do with that. Uh, who knows? Andy, did you like Benny's shot selection late in the game? Well, he took a couple bad threes uh, from from too far out and rushed them. But yeah, he he feels worse than anyone in this arena. You know, he was three for 15, one for nine for the three point line. You know, he, he did get to the foul line and, and, and rebound the ball. But when you go three for 15, one for nine. He he feels as bad as any worse times 10 than anyone else in this arena right now. So. Uh, he's a competitor, he's a great player, and, and just a wonderful kid. So um, he'll bounce back. Let's do one more. Coach, what do, you, what do you think your team, as far as growth, how do you feel that they've, they've grown, even in spite of a loss? What do you think they've uh, achieved through this? Well, well, I think they know they can compete with anybody on our schedule. And I think they've also, in a game like this, when they watch the film, they'll see that the little things make a big difference. The, the extra possessions, the, uh, the, the Oregon had 14 offensive rebounds, and we only had 12, so there's two possessions there. We turned the ball over a couple more times. And, and when you miss shots, you have to try to steal possessions. We did block eight shots and had three steals. We did our job there as far as being active and forced them into 13 turnovers. But uh, they'll see a few things that they need to work on, and, and, and uh, especially in the crucial moments of the game. Thanks, Andy.